Hey guys, Greg here. It's the Vinyl Rundown. Today we're going to talk about three concert tickets that I concert tickets that I just found, and uh, not so much the vinyl, but the music that eventually ended up on the vinyl. I just found these in my bedroom, and my wife had just stuck them in a bowl sitting on a shelf, and I've you know I've seen them every day for the last five years, but I actually never picked them up and said, "Oh, what tickets are these?" So here they are. Let me go through them, and uh, I'm going to kind of try to zoom in the focus a little bit so you can see these up close. Because is this working? Is this thing on? There we go. We're in focus. Which one is in the front here? Experience Hendrix, 2014. Then we have. Uh, I'm peeking. The replacements at the, hey, that's upside down. The replacements, Hollywood Palladium, 2015. X at the Canyon Club, 2015. Okay, now i got to go back to focusing on uh, old Greg here. Uh, just a quick little review slash impressions of these concerts and... Uh, Interesting coincidence that these three tickets kind of ended up at the same place. You know, tickets today are all these stupid digital PDF printouts that you wad up and you throw away as you uh, walk into the concert. But the olden days, which was, you know, three years ago, still doing paper tickets that you could hold on and keep. So Experience Hendrix, that's the uh, kind of tribute show that the Hendrix uh, estate puts on. And it's touring again this year. I think it's... Uh, I think Dweezil Zappa is one of the headliners. Uh, first time uh, me and my friend Mark saw him at the Universal Amphitheater, which does not exist anymore. And it was people like Kenny Wayne Shepherd, some of the Isley Brothers, Brad Whitford from Aerosmith, Eric Johnson, Joe Cetriani. Uh, was Steve Vai there? I don't think so. Cetriani. Who am I missing? Kenny Wayne Shepherd. The monster, monster blues guitarist who does a really intense voodoo child uh, thing. Uh, and I saw him open for Van Halen at the Greek also. Kenny Wayne Shepherd lives, you know, a few miles down the block here. The east, west end of the San Fernando Valley. Anyway, why don't we talk about this time we saw them at uh, the Greek. Second time I saw him, I think it was raining. Buddy Guy was kind of the main uh, main event, the main thing you wanted to see. Buddy Guy is a hilarious performer, and he's very, uh, what's the word, profane. Talks a lot about women and drinking and having fun with women and which parts of the women he likes, that sort of thing. You know, old-time guys can get away with that. Uh, but great, great performer. Great blues guitar player. Great to see the blues legend Buddy Guy. Uh, Zach Wild uh, did an amazing version of, I think he did Watchtower. Zach Wild, the uh, sort of heavy metal maniac from uh, Ozzy and all that stuff. He, uh, he just shreds. I mean, that's all he does. He just shreds. He, he starts out, I like to say, he starts out at 100 miles an hour. And stays there. He doesn't slow down. He, I don't think he knows any ballads. I mean, he's he's quite a uh, personality, but buddy guy, interesting. Who else played? I can't even remember. Johnny Lang, maybe. Um, who else? Who does Hendrix stuff? Eric Johnson often plays. I don't know if Dweezil played that year. Dweezil's playing the current show. Maybe Dweezil played. There's like a rotating group of like 20 people to play in, play with Experience Hendrix and they all just kind of, you know, come and go depending on what year and what city and who feels like playing. And the cool thing is you get there and each guy has his own amp. So there's this whole, um, the whole stage is just full side to side of amps. Fenders, Marshalls, large stall, stacks, combos, vintage, whatever. It's kind of cool to see that everybody has their own amp, and I guess it's about 98% Stratocasters. Um, so anyway, Experience Hendrix 2014. How much prices? I don't remember. Not on there. 
Who's next? The Replacements, 2015. I have to admit that that's the only time I've ever seen The Replacements, you know, 30 years after they were popular and after at least two of the main guys died. But Paul, Paul I almost said Paul Weller. Paul Westerberg is kind of the brains and the heart behind The Replacements. And uh, I actually thought they did a good job. This was a, a, a smaller venue called the Hollywood Palladium down uh, in Hollywood. Uh, standing room only type show. Crowded, jostling. Me and a bunch of dudes went and, you know, hit a bar first and then crammed our way into the Palladium. Backed by Unpopular Demand, April 2015, 7 p.m., $53 plus $15 handling. That's kind of, uh, it's kind of, whatever. I <laughs> uh, did not buy any merch. But uh, you got you to gotta see the replacements if you can, if you haven't already. And I missed their heyday when they were all drunk on stage, falling all over each other and hitting each other. Uh, now they're a little more sober, a little more together, and uh, can actually get through a set. Uh, great, great tunes, though. Replacements, one of the all-time classic bands, Minneapolis. Uh, the Minneapolis sound, if you will. All right, who's last? Last but not least, can't focus it. It says, X, come support Billy Zoom at the Canyon. Canyon Club, December, December 31st. This was a New Year's Eve show. Uh, 2015. Billy Zoom, I guess, got sick. Billy Zoom is the guitar player, and uh, I think he's got some strange disease or something. Sorry to hear that. Lymphoma comes to mind. I don't know uh, what it is, but Billy Zoom, great rockabilly guitar player turned punk guitar player and amplifier maker modifier. He, like, tweaks and modifies these classical vintage amps, and he's really, yeah, Pretty sharp guy technically and good guitar player. X with X scene and John Doe and Billy Zoom and DJ Bone Break. Um, New Year's Eve show. Great show in a small intimate club. It's kind of a, um, uh, what do you call it, a supper club. They charge an arm and a leg if you want to eat supper and their supper's not even that good. So, what was that, 38 bucks? But if you wanted the dinner, it would be like an extra 70 bucks for a not so great steak or whatever. Or whatever. Uh, we always just do standing room. We don't buy the freaking stupid uh, dinner. But if you want to sit down with your friends, you know, me and a dude will stand. But if you're with wives and friends and older people, I took my son to see Devo there. We sat at the table and ate the dinner. Uh, I've seen a lot of people at this canning club. Uh, Devo, Los Lobos, John Hyatt, Robin Ford, uh, Jim Gaffigan, the comedian. Who else have I seen? It's probably ten. Uh, the Yardbirds. Uh, I don't know. A million people. A lot of people play there. Usually it's artists. It's not up-and-coming artists. It's artists that are well past their prime doing the nostalgia thing. Oh, I saw Helmet there. I mentioned that in one of my videos recently. Anyway, uh, these are my concert review videos, guys. Concerts from five and ten years ago that I barely remember and yet I think you're dying to watch these so I'm gonna make them anyway let me know what concerts you love and what concert tickets you held on to and what concert tickets you kept in your scrapbook we got a big scrapbook full of concert tickets and sometimes I stick them in the CD so they'll be going through your CDs and like, oh there's I went to see them that group when the CD came out so they're like hidden all over the house uh, thanks guys for putting up with another rambling video about who knows what. Subscribe to The Vinyl Rundown. Let me know what you think, and I will check you later.